Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Matt over here, Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. Answering a question today from a guy named Drew who had emailed me on YouTube. He is having an issue. He's in eighth grade, so he's a younger guy, eighth grade. He was third in his sectionals last year. He didn't tell me what state he was from, but third in his sectionals. And he uh, just missed going to states by one place, so he just missed it. And basically what he's saying is that he noticed that a lot of the people he was throwing against were a lot bigger than he was. You know, he's not, I'm not sure how big he is, but in eighth grade, you're going to have people of all different sizes. You know, you're going to have some eighth graders that are six foot three. You're going to have some eighth graders that are five foot three. You're going to have some eighth graders that look like they're 20 years old. And you're going to know some 20 year olds that look like they're in eighth grade. Hormones go crazy. Puberty's going crazy. Everyone's all over the place and people are different sizes. So Drew's wondering, should I get bigger? Now, here's what we need to realize. When you get bigger, okay, in the weight room, when you're trying to put on size in the weight room, typically what is prescribed to somebody looking to get bigger, looking to put on slabs of muscle, is to work with more of a hypertrophic rep scheme, your hypertrophy type training. Now, with hypertrophy, what's going on is we're working with a moderate weight, okay? We're trying to use as heavy a weight as possible for moderate amount of reps, usually in that 6 to 12 rep range, and we're doing that with a moderate velocity. So moderate weight, what do we talk about? Sort of we want to go heavy. We want to try to use the heaviest amount of weight we can for 6 to 12 reps. That's going to be somewhere in that, you know, 70 to, or maybe 65 to 75% of our one rep max. So it's not really heavy. It's not really light. We're just taking a moderate weight down, up, down, up, down, up. And we're moving that weight with a moderate velocity. Now, does that have anything to do with what we do in the circle? Absolutely not. But it is going to get you bigger. It is going to put size on your body. And over time, you will put on size. You will get bigger. But look at what we do in the circle. In the circle or in the javelin runway, we take a very light to lightweight implement. Okay? Eighth grader, you're throwing a four kilogram shot put. That's 8.8 pounds. That's not super heavy. Your discus only weighs 2.2 pounds. That's not a heavy object. You're not, you know, picking up 400 pounds off the ground. You're not pushing a car across a parking lot. You're not doing strongman type training with heavy, heavy implements. You're working with a light implement. You're taking that light implement. You're moving it as fast as possible with as much power and speed as possible, building and using all of the strength in your body to do so. So does that in any way match hypertrophy? No, it doesn't. Hypertrophy is going to put some size on your body, but so will getting older. So will getting bigger. So will your hormones coming into play and just naturally growing up and becoming a man. You're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger naturally. You're going to grow into your body is a saying that a lot of people like to use. So what do we want to do in the weight room? What you want to do is blend strength and explosion. Here's why. Strength, you're moving a maximal amount of weight. You're moving that maximal amount of weight for a lower repetition and a very low velocity. So does that fit into what we do? Well, yeah, lower repetition. You're not getting in the circle and doing eight throws right in a row. We're using a lower repetition, using a lot of strength and a lot of power. That's what's developed in a typical strength training program. Strength, power, lower repetitions. Kind of similar to what we do in the circle. What's really similar to what we do in the circle is explosion. Lighter weight, lower repetitions. I put one to five, but usually it's one to three repetitions with a maximum velocity. So here's what you need to do, okay? When you're in eighth grade, you're naturally going to get bigger. You're going to put on size just by eating and growing up and pretty much becoming a man. You're going to put on size. When I was in eighth grade, I weighed 155 pounds. I still remember this. 155 pounds, and I was a 32-32 pant size. 32-inch waist, 32-inch inseam. When I was graduated high school, I was 185. I had a 34-inch waist and a 32-inch inseam. At my biggest, I was 245. So at my biggest, I was 90 pounds heavier, 90 pounds heavier than what I was in eighth grade. 
What you need to do is formulate some good habits in the weight room. You need to spend more time under weight. You need to spend more time under tension, as the old saying goes. You need to just let yourself naturally grow up. You need to let yourself naturally get bigger and get stronger just because you're going to get older. But the number one thing, you have to work on form and work on technique because that is paramount when you get in those circles. So maybe for right now, let's stay away from this sort of hypertrophy training. Let's work on a lot of body weight movements. Let's work on your push-ups, your pull-ups, your lunges, your squats, the basics. Let's work on a lot of jumping and bounding. Let's get you to be really athletic. Let's build that athletic base of that pyramid. And then throughout the years, you can start to specialize and start to get to that peak, that tip of the pyramid. But for right now in eighth grade, dude, let's try to get that big athletic base, spend some time under some weight, do a lot of jumping, do a lot of bounding, and work on that technique, and you will throw farther. Don't worry too much about size right now. You're still a little bit too young. You don't know how big you're going to get. Make sure you're just eating right, doing all the right things, sleeping enough, and going out and practicing and working hard every single day, and the results are going to come. All right? So that's a great video for you guys out there that are, that are younger, that are wondering about putting on size. Don't go crazy. Let yourself grow up. Keep improving your form and technique and become a better athlete, and you will start throwing farther. All right. At the bottom of this video, you're going to see a couple links. One is for our discus coaching seminar that's happening here at Primal, March 15th. And the other one is the Licking Valley, Ohio Shot and Discus Camp. It's a one-day camp in Ohio, and that is happening on March 22nd. So make sure if you're in those areas, if you live in the New England area, if you live in the Ohio area, click the links below, read more about them, get signed up. And I hope to see you at one of our seminars real, real soon. Talk to you guys later.